everyone, welcome back to my channel. I apologize because it's going to be a um, late video for the weekend. This weekend has been, um, well, it's been rather nice. We've had a couple of uh, days of really nice weather for January. For it to be um, in the 60s and 70s is pretty much unheard of. So I've used a good amount of that time um, to spend some time outside with the kids and just soak in the, the nice weather. Additionally, a couple of the kids have been really sick last week and through the weekend. So I've just been uh, taking it easy and hanging out with them and just, just helping, them make feel, helping them feel better. So... Uh, it is Sunday night, and I probably am not going to get to uploading these videos until Monday. So again, I apologize, but we're here. So let's dive in. I've got a lot to, um, I started making a list and I realized, oh wow, I have a lot I want to share with you guys tonight. So it's already pretty late, so we're going to dive in and, and see how it goes. So um, of course, this is just my general disclaimer. This is an adult coloring channel. Um... This is not intended or directed, I should say, towards children, although children might find my content interesting, so I'm just going to say that. Um, tonight in particular, we will be coloring uh, Disney, but that does not mean that this video is directed towards children. It's actually more of an adult coloring book, and we are adults, and we are coloring. <laughs> so, with that general disclaimer, let's just move that to the side. So I'm going to move this stuff out of the way because we'll get to it shortly. That's what we'll be doing later. But as I was saying, I've just got so much to share with you guys. And so um, this was my little black book that we started swatching some colors and stuff on for the um, black coloring on black picture we did the other night. Uh, last week, rather. Wow, it's been a whole week already. So, fun, um, interesting little thing. These uh, pleather straps came off of, I have some like faux moccasin slippers. Um, and the strap kept coming off of one. And finally, it came. I stepped on it, it came completely out. So I was going to throw it away. And instead, I tied it on here. I was like, oh, it's so cute. So I pulled the other one out and did the same thing. And it's just adorable. And I have another notebook, the same, um, that a friend of mine gave me. Actually, my workout coach gave me. It's a gratitude book, and it's so cute. So every day you put in the date, and you just list what it is you're grateful for. And you can write in some daily affirmations as well. I love this book. It's so cute. And it's the same thing. It's the same kind of book. So now I need to get something to thread in there as well. But anyway, what I've done with this book, besides pulling pages out to swatch on, which I probably still will do, um, I've started jotting down some notes about what it is we're doing on my channel and what else is going on. Um, so that's what I've done. And I have like a whole page here of stuff we're going to do tonight. So the first thing is, what the heck have I been doing all week since the last time we chatted? So oh, I've got several things here I want to show you guys. The first one is um, this year I am really trying to um, finish up some whips and if I start something I really want to try and finish it so as not to build more whips because I've got so many whips. Um, just so you get, whips is um, work in progress. Those are things that I've started and not finished for those of you who don't know uh, or don't recognize the acronym. So somebody, and I don't recall who, um, I just kind of saw it in browsing on one of my coloring Facebook groups, downloaded this app called Tiny Decisions onto her phone. And so what you do, so I did. And so what you do is you go in and you can make lists. And for every list, it charts out like this little circle graph. So for example, and I wish I could show you guys the app, but it's on my phone and I'm using my phone to take the video. But um, for example, I made two lists of all my coloring books because there were so many, I split it into two lists. So you go into a list 
after you've made the list, it generates a little circle wheel and in every piece of the pie is a name of a coloring book. And so then you press a button and it spins the wheel and basically randomly chooses one for me. So I was like, okay, that could be fun if I'm not quite sure uh, what I wanna work on next or if I'm just looking to work on one of my whips. So I did that, I think it was Wednesday or Thursday and Phantom Morphia came up. So I said, okay, let's see what I've got for, for whips in there. And so I had chosen, actually I have two of this one. And then I have this one. So I decided that I was gonna work on this one here. So what I did have started um, already was this background on both pages is done in acrylic paint. And then this uh, serpent here is watercolor pencil as well as the flower. That was already done. What I went and then started doing is I, Again, using watercolor pencil, I started doing this little kitty, the the crows or ravens, or maybe that's a, it, but the birds, the skull, and then I started doing this woodworking here, and to be honest with you, it was not coming out the way I had like envisioned it, and I said, okay, that's okay. Sometimes you just got to walk away from it and come back and, and maybe it will look better, especially after it dries because it's watercolor. And when I came back to it, I'm still not happy with it. I don't really like it at all. So I kind of just, and it's not just because of that. I'm just not feeling this page and I'm just not having fun with it. So I'm actually just putting it back away because if you're not having fun, it's not worth it. And that doesn't mean I'm giving up. A lot of times for me, what happens is there will come a time that I'll come back to it and inspiration will strike and then boom, before you know it, the whole page will be finished. So I'm not concerned. It'll get finished, now is just not the time. So that's, so that's going away and I'm hoping to tackle a different whip um, soon. So those are things I'll be working on. Maybe some of them will be on video. Maybe some of them will be um, off video and you guys can just check my updates on Instagram. So because of that, I was feeling a little discouraged. And so yesterday I was like, okay, if I'm going to start something new, it has to be something simple that I'm going to finish. Because like I said, I don't want to have a, a bunch of whips. I mean, not everything is going to be new and simple, but if I'm going to start a project or a page that's going to become a several part project, I have to go into it, you know, with the mindset, I'm going to finish it. So I, so for yesterday, it was nice out. I went outside. I decided, okay, I'm going to color with my markers because I can finish um, a page fairly quickly, uh, sometimes in one sitting or two. And I love my Crayola Super Tips, so I picked a page on Dark Fantasy, and that's exactly what I did. So this is Crayola Super Tips and Glitter Glue. And I keep calling them stickles, but they're not stickle brand. They're, I get them from Michael's or it's a craft store. So, and there's actually, they're like a dollar close to checkout. And there's two different brands. There's the Studio G and then Craft Smart. And they're a dollar a piece, so I usually just rummage through that bin and grab a few. So that's what I used. Um, the glittered butterflies I hand drew in myself. These three were already there. I am really happy with how this came out, and I love the colors. I'm actually really happy with this page. So that's something else I did. And then the big one I've been spending quite a bit of time on is my comp book project. So let me give you all the details on this if you don't already know. So Dee Dee Willingham, she's a YouTube channel, um, a YouTube artist. She's amazing. I love her videos. I love her channel. Uh, she is hosting this comp book project idea where basically you take a composition notebook, you pick a theme, and you just fill it with doodles, notes, um, scraps, borders, everything to do with this subject. And it, and the idea is, you know, you do research and you take notes and, and you just discover. So I'm participating in that. 
and so it's the hashtag is conflict 2020 um, you want to look for if you go to Dee Dee's channel you want to look for the New Year's Eve stream a 2019 and 2020 because that's where she gives you all the details about the project and then separately I am part of a Facebook group called hashtag comp book 2020 that was just started last week and I would there's like three of us right now I would love to see you guys jump in become part of the group if you're doing this comp book project it's just you know so we can share pictures share progress um, draw inspiration from each other and just chat about the project so I would love to see you guys um, join that group. It'll be so, it'll be awesome. Um, Dee Dee herself is not in the group because she's super busy, as you know. She's got a million things going on, um, but we are doing that, and um, I would just love to see you guys there. So please jump over there and become a part of the group. So this is what I've got. So we started this guy um, on the last video. That's what we did. So I was able to finish him and I just love how it came out. So funny story. At one point, my daughter Abigail can reach my desktop now. <laughs> She's two. Uh, she can reach my desktop now and she got a hold of some of my pencils and scribbled all over it in white pencil, which was like the most noticeable, but a couple other pencils as well. So I did my best to cover it up, but you know, I don't get mad. I love that she's interested in art and everything can be fixed and manipulated or or sometimes I take her scribbles and I incorporate them into my artwork somehow because that's just a little piece of her love in my art. So I just love it. I'm hoping that she gets inspired by seeing all the stuff I do all the time. So this is so I'm doing my comic book project on the book series The Wheel of Time, and this is the first book, The Eye of the World. Um, I was debating: Am I gonna do the whole comic book on just the first book, or am I gonna delve into the other ser the rest of the series? The thing is, is the series is like 14 books long, and um, I don't know if that's if that might fill more than one comic book. So I still don't know exactly how I'm going to do this. But this is the first book, The Eye of the World. This first page has all the chapters written out and then this pretty border. This page is finished. Or I might do a little doodling, but for the most part, it's finished. Then what I did is, before I get into that, is I went and put an outline throughout the whole book. I think like every three pages I put a chapter title and basically the idea was sketch a little bit about each chapter, you know, sketch a little picture, um, introduce the characters, what's the setting, what's going on with the story, my own thoughts and feelings and interpretations. And I was gonna do that for each chapter. Right now, that's what I think I'm gonna do. And if I do that, that brings the first book um, pretty, I mean, probably about three quarters of the way through the comp book. So then it's like, um, so then, it, you know, then, okay, well then we're going to just keep this comp book for just the first book. But I don't know if I want to go into that detail. There's 53 chapters. I'm actually on chapter 48 right now. I'm actually almost done the book. So I'm going to have to go back. Um, and delve into it deeper so in my mind do I want to do that and really go deep into this book or do I want to step back and do it on the series that's kind of the question still going on in my mind and it really comes down to how much am I anticipating on reading the next book or am I okay to just slow it down and, and dive back into this one before I go to the next one so it's all open-ended and we're just gonna take it how it goes <laughs> so I started doodling a little something here this will probably be a um, a doodle type zentangle art type of thing um, and then I left a couple of pages blank before we get to the first chapter I started put I put in all my notes um, on the first chapter but I still wanted to do this page on like my thoughts and insights into the chapter so I still have to put that in 
and then I started doing some doodling and I wanted this page to be a sketch of what was my, you know, a lot of times when you read, when you start a new book and you read the very first page, the very first setting, the very first scene, you know, you mentalize a picture and that kind of, for me, that picture stays with me whenever I think of that book again. So three years from now, I'll think of that book and one of the first thoughts I'll have is what was my first mental picture when I started reading that book. So I'm taking that mental picture and that's what I'm trying to put on this page. And you know, I draw, but I'm not like the best artist in the world and I'm still learning. So trying to transform what's in my mind to what's on, you know, to what's gonna be on the paper is, is daunting but at the same time that's part of this journey of the comp book project is to to test your limits and grow and but and, but at the same time just do don't you know it doesn't have to be perfect that's why we're doing a composition notebook it doesn't have to be perfect just just be messy play learn grow that's what this is all about so anyway so that's where we are so it's like chapter one is, you know, a third of the way there. And then all I did was outline the rest of the chapters. I have ideas of wanting to do like sketches of individual characters, maybe a little short little blurb about that character. Um, so I really think there is a lot of content that I could fill this whole comp book with the first book. Will I do a comp book for every book in the series? Probably not because I've got so many ideas of other comp book projects I want to do. I want to do a Harry Potter one. I want to do a Lord of the Rings one. And those are all just books. I want to do one on fantasy. I want to do one. If I like this and I really am enjoying it so far, I, I mean, I could end up having a million comp books. <laughs> so anyways, that's that one. Let me just put that back in there. I still have to glue this in. I want this glued down there. Let's move that. Okay, I'm referring to my list, guys, because there's just a lot. Um, okay, so what's coming up? That's the next thing I wanted to talk about. What is coming up on the future of this channel in the near future and, you know, far future stuff? So the first thing I want to talk about is you guys know we're doing a giveaway. Let me just grab my giveaway book. <clears throat> We're doing a giveaway and I'm looking for my list. I apologize guys. I had moved all my stuff around so many times. Oh no, I had a list I wanted to share with you guys and I think it got shuffled around somewhere. Oh no, here it is. <laughs> Sorry. We're going to, I picked a date for the giveaway. We're gonna do the giveaway on um, January 26th, which is a Sunday. So uh, whether, if I'm doing a video, like a video video, I try to do my videos on Friday night or Saturday night. It got pushed to Sunday night. If I'm doing my video on Sunday night, it'll be part of that video. If not, I'll just do a short little, hey, announce the winner video. So right now to enter into the giveaway for, and I'm going to give away this Creative Haven Winter Wonderland coloring book. I believe I've already, yes, this is the one that I've already posted a flip through on, um, on my channel. So go check that flip through out if you're interested. And to enter into the giveaway for this month only, this is for all subscribers, all you have to do is be a subscriber to my channel and leave a comment on that video. And the video is the beginning of year giveaway and chat part one. There is only one part. <clears throat> I thought that the video was going to be longer and be split into two, but it was only one part. But anyway, it's the beginning of year giveaway and chat video. Go on to that video and leave a comment stating what it is you'd like to see me draw this year. Because as you know, um, future giveaways are for the rest of the year are I give you guys a picture hand drawn by me and you color it and take a picture and submit it either to Instagram or my Facebook group, which is 
Um, sorry, there's a lot of stuff written here. Rachel's Coloring Explorations right there. Um, to my Facebook group or Instagram, hashtag Rachel's Coloring Explorations. And that's how you get entered into the giveaway. But for this month only, all you have to do is leave a comment at the bottom of that video, basically saying what you'd like to see me draw this year, what you'd like to see me do um, on the channel, because I'm open to ideas if there's a specific tutorial or product or um, technique or something you want to see me draw. That's what I want. I want you guys as input. And when I say tutorials, guys, my channel is called Coloring Explorations for a Reason. I am exploring. I'm not a professional. Um, all I, I have experience, but it's only about a couple, it's about two years. I've been adult coloring for two years, so I have some experience with some products, some, some things I'm more comfortable with. Um, other things that I'm just learning for the first time, um, like using the Neo Color 2s, I literally have only used those once. So uh, when it comes to tutorials, it's really not tutorials so much as exploring together and you guys getting to see firsthand. Um, as I learn and me just giving my interpretations and tips and techniques as I discover them. But I'm so open to sharing that stuff with you. That is why I started this channel because it's just so much fun to share. So at the minute, um, I didn't see anything on the Facebook group yet. So at the at the minute, we've got five entries in this order: Cindy, Kayla, Don, Carol, and Candy. So please go ahead and leave a comment. I would love to um, get more people in this giveaway. And just a reminder, I'm just going to put a note here. That's going to be on January 26th is when we're going to pick and announce the winner. So that's what's coming up in the immediate future. And then, um, oh yes, so I have a couple of little goodies to share since last week. Not much. Nothing that I bought, but... The first thing is, is I totally forgot to share some of my Christmas goodies with you. And Carol is just a sweetheart, and she sent me this beautiful Christmas card filled with goodies. And so I've got this, I love this doily, and it's paper. So I can use this in collage, which I probably will. I've got some Christmas goodies. Um, like some of my favorite Christmas cards from this year. This is one that I saved because I absolutely love, I love it. So vintage looking. Um, so I probably am going to do a Christmas collage for items from 2019 Christmas. So I love this. That's going to be incorporated. Then there's these cute little coloring pa uh, Christmas coloring pages, which are probably also used in the collage. And then look at these stickers. These are Disney, um, Disney Pixar, and these are the little, um, I don't remember what they're called, but it, my daughter collects the little animals. <clears throat> and it's like a little cartoon short too. Um, Mojis or something, I'm not sure, but they're adorable, I love these. And my daughter's gonna love them too, especially Mickey Mouse, she's obsessed with Mickey and Minnie Mouse. And then look at these little, cute, they're so adorable, these little um, snack stickers. Look at the little taco. I love them. I love them. And then um, this cute page of Christmas stickers as well, which I'll probably also use in the clash. So, Carol, thank you so much. You are such a sweetheart, and I just love them. And then uh, something else that I didn't share, you know, just a quick thing. I got these on my stocking. This is what I use to ink in my drawings. So it was a three pack of the um, Zero One tip. So these are the Sakura uh, Micron pens. I have been using these for years. I started by using them to Zentangle and now I use them to ink in all my artwork. And you can get them in all different um, tip sizes. These are a couple of the smallest tips here. The 01 and the 005 is the smallest. This, These are the two I use the most, but I just love these pens. So I had two, three packs of the 005 and the 01. So I'm really excited because I've been doing a lot of drawing and I'm gonna need them. 
<clears throat> and then also a friend of mine gave me this cute little this cute little metal pail. I love it. So I'm good. I'm keeping it on my desktop with my skull to kind of keep pen, um, pens and pencils in as I'm working. Right now it's just got napkins in it. But so those are my goodies. Not much more. Nothing new that I've bought. You know, Christmas just came and went, so we gotta be good. Um, oh, and then also, I I brought this home from work. You know, we get shipments in all the time, and a lot of times they they ship in like this brown packing paper. This brown packing paper is awesome to doodle on or write on and glue it in a book, tape it. Um, it's just, you can do so much with this. And it's basically, it's almost the same, if not the same materials, like a brown paper bag. So um, honestly, guys, you could do the same thing. Just cut a piece of a brown paper bag out, which I've done. I did a small Zentangle on the corner of a brown paper bag that I had ripped off. And I have it somewhere. Oh, I think I have it in my... Hold on. Rabbit trail, as Dee Dee would say. Or a squirrel, as my husband would say. I think I have it in here, in my idea book. I think... I hope I do. I hope I saved it in here. I would love to be able to show you guys. Oh, you know what? I think it's in the back. Wait. Wait. I think it's in here. Let me just look real quick. I'm going to be sad if it's not. I really want to show you guys now. Now that we're talking about it, it came out so cute. Um, but black ink on the brown paper just looks so cool. And so, like, you could do um, something I want to try, uh, brush lettering, calligraphy. You could do that on the brown paper and just... Okay, I can't find it. I'm sitting here, I don't want to waste your time looking. But, like, for example... Here, let's just... Let's play. So, for example, I'm just going to take a piece. Oop. Like this. And I can get I can get so much of this. So, it's for free from work. Because <clears throat> they just recycle it for the most part. So, see like this straight edge? We don't want that. But I don't want that. I like the messy looking edges. And so, I could literally take this. I'm going to take one of my, my pens here. Oh, I'm gonna try to grab an 01 because the 05 is really small. And you can literally just Yeah, see this is very small on this, but that's okay. You could just doodle something. You know what I'm saying? So you can literally fill this whole thing up with a doodle and then and then just tape it in something. You could put it on a or glue it in something, glue it on a on a collage page in your art journal. And it's just a cute little thing. <gasps> we're gonna add some of this to our comp book. That's what we're gonna do. Where's my comp book? See, rabbit trails have good endings. I'm going to put this in here as a reminder. We're going to do some of this. See, I could, so I could doodle on this and I could like glue it in somewhere. Something related to the book. So I'm going to throw this in here as a reminder that we're going to do that. And maybe we'll do, we'll do that on a video. Future video. Okay. So there's that. What's next? Oh, yes. So I wanted to show you guys. Um. I wanted to show you guys some of the drawing stuff I've been working on. Let's put this to the side. We're going to go, we're going to take a peek at that in a minute. So, um, some of the comments I've already gotten on things that you guys would like to see is, um, Candy had mentioned that she would love to see me draw, um, some fantasy pages, dream catchers, outer space, things like that. And... Candy, I am totally on board. That is totally the kind of stuff I love, the kind of stuff I really want to draw. Sorry guys, I just need a sip of water, my throat's dry. Um, so I wanted to show you guys some of the stuff that I'm thinking about drawing and, and, and some of the 
work in progress as I have because I don't mind sharing with you guys. It's not a secret. So this is the page. Remember I was looking for the original? <clears throat> I found it. So this is the page for the January color along. So if you guys are interested in getting a copy of this, just email me here at rachelwoodfelt at gmail.com. Don't forget the dot there. Email me and I will send you a PDF copy or if you want, I can mail you a physical copy printed on cardstock. So just let me know. So that's January's, but I've got this going on. I don't know how well you can see it um, on, let me see if I can. I'm just not sure how well you can see it, but because it's just penciled, but I've got like some uh, swirly tree branches going on here with some apples. I, I was thinking, you know, because it's January, if, if, because I never fully decide what the January page is going to be, if this is going to be the January page, I was thinking of maybe having, like, the apples iced with, like, ice, like, they're frozen with uh, icicles dripping down from them, and maybe having some frozen water down here, and so that's kind of the direction I was going in, but then I had a couple other really fun ideas, too. This one is finished. This is one I drew a while ago. Oh, and excuse me, in October. So I don't know if this is going to become a color along page or if it's just going to get archived for now, but these are just basically like a bunch of beta fish in a bubble. Um, yep, yeah, okay. And then I don't know if you're going to be able to see my post it. I got really, this was a, a stroke of inspiration, and this might be the January page too, and I just don't know if you can see it. Let me stand up and see if I can bring it in close for you guys. So basically, all my concepts are on sticky notes. This is what happens, because I think about it real quick, and I want to sketch it real quick. So it's basically like um, some whales swimming in the night sky with... Uh, there's the moon, you have some clouds. I may even put a little person sitting on the back of one. And like with these like trails of starlight or stars in the sky. And I really like this idea and I might start this one and this might become the January color along. So those are just some of the ideas that I've been working on. Um, I've also got another page only because Candy, you mentioned dream catchers. And so funny enough... I've already started a long, long time ago. I started this dream catcher. So, and I just kind of lost some inspiration for it, but that could be another page that could be done fairly quickly. Well, not fair. It's another page that could be done. So it's just funny that you mentioned dream catchers. And then again, you mentioned outer space. I was gonna do, I was gonna do a whole galaxy type thing here. So like these were gonna be the planets. And then we're gonna have like some shooting stars and stuff. So, so that you know, that's I'm already there, hun. I'm there. We, I just gotta finish some of these. Um, this I'm um, thinking about being a garden scene, like looking through a very pretty window at a garden. Uh, this one, I love this one, but I've just been playing with the ideas. Is it finished, or do I want to add stuff in the middle? I mean, what do you guys think? Leave me a comment. Um, Right now, I was thinking of drawing some wisteria with some butterflies, but <clears throat> is that too much? I mean, what do you guys think, or what, what do you think would look pretty in the middle? Let me know. So, that's some of the stuff. I've, the rest of these pages are the ones that have already been finished that you guys know. That's just some of the stuff I'm working on, and that you can look forward to seeing um, in the future. So, let me just get this stuff out of the way. I think that's everything in there I wanted to show you guys and then oh yes and then it's some exciting stuff coming up I will be um I will be co-hosting a couple of color alongs this year with Becky's color escapes let me see I'll write that down so you guys should check out her channel so she's the she's the one who's doing this whole um thing i think it's for the whole year and it's let me i just want to write it down you guys should definitely check out her channel because she's doing this every month for the whole year she's doing a different themed color along for the month 
So that's So that's her channel. Go check her out. And so for March and October, I will be co-hosting um, and basically um, spreading the word for her color alongs. So when we get to March and October, you guys will hear more about that. So I'm really excited. And I'm also doing this with um, Kayla's. Let me see. I just want to make sure I write it right. Coloring crafts. And it's just funny because I thought I was the only one who used underscores in my name. And then here's these two lovely ladies with these awesome channels doing the same thing. So I'm like, oh, okay, I'm not alone. But anyway, check out both their channels. They're both beautiful, amazing artists. And I'm really excited to be working with them on this project. <clears throat> Even if it's just a couple of the months. I'm very excited. So we have that to look forward to as well in March and October. And then... Um, the last thing is, um, I wanted to talk to you about, I have a subscription to <coughs> Creative Happy Life. So I will leave a link in the, in the description of this video to her website. So what it is, is it's a once monthly, uh, subscription where she emails you amazing content to your inbox. And so there's some stuff by her. She's an amazing artist. And then it's not just coloring pages. Like this month, I got this beautiful planner calendar, but she's also got like this gorgeous um, actual planner book for the whole month that's got a whole bunch of stuff in it. Um, coloring pages. She There's always a an artist that she has an interview with and with some exclusive content. Um, I am so happy I, sus bleh, I subscribed to her club in December because she did that gorgeous uh, Christmas advent coloring pages, which I just loved. And I am not disappointed with the content that, um, that I'm getting every month. I'm not disappointed at all. It's just gorgeous, gorgeous stuff. So, Sorry for the um sorry for the little sales pitch there. I'm I'm not pushing anything. I'm just saying you guys have to check this stuff out because it's just gorgeous. So I've got um this gorgeous calendar page which I am going to be using to document and plan ahead for stuff we're gonna do on the channel because now I'm starting to talk about it and we're start I'm starting to try and be more organized with the channel. So this is a great way to capture that. So like I got a, a whole package of stuff for January in January. <clears throat> and so the calendar page is for February, so I can plan ahead. So I'm guessing in February I'll get the page for March. So I can already go and plan ahead. So I've already got on here the 26th of January. The blue is previous month. Uh, which would be January, where we're going to announce the giveaway winner. And then, of course, we have Valentine's Day. And I think on that weekend video, whether it's Friday night, Saturday night, or Sunday, we'll go ahead and do um, 